today I want to talk a little bit about uh, kind of country type strumming. Uh, this is Friend of the Devil, the Grateful Dead tune. And what you do for a lot of country songs like this, Teach Your Children, Mr. Bojangles, anyway, lots of, lots of country folk songs, require the technique of hitting bass notes with the pick and then strumming on the second and usually fourth beats. So um, a simple pattern that I'd have people try maybe on a D chord would be something like this. bass note, then doing a down up, then another bass note, and another down up. In Friend of the Devil, the bass notes are a descending G scale. G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. So those are the notes you play. It starts off on a G chord, but all you need on the G chord is your third finger up on the high G because you're not playing any of these notes down here in the bass. It'll make a bunch of terrible noise. So, um, we hit the open third string in the bass, the G, and strum, down, up. Then you reach your fourth finger down to get the F sharp in the bass. This is a bit of a stretch, but it's the best way to do this. Um, so, G, your fourth finger reaches to F sharp, which is on the fourth fret of the D string. Then your first finger comes in and plays the E on the second fret of the D string. And again, each of these notes is followed by a down and up. An open D. As the bass continues down, it's going to go to C. Well, at that point, we'll go to a C chord. The bass moves to B, which means you lose the note your second finger had been on. The E that your second finger had been on comes off and you'll let that string be open. It's even weirder because now we go to an open A in the bass and we just let all those open notes ring. It's a little dissonant, but it'll all resolve when we get back to our low G in the bass and put down the rest of a G chord. Again, I like to have G chords fingered with my third finger on the sixth string, second finger on the fifth string, and little finger up on the first string. Not the easiest way to play it, but the most versatile. Learn to play G this way. Have more on Friend of the Devil at Totally Guitars, so come on over there when you get a chance and check it out. Thanks. Hey, here we go taking a look, uh, a little more detailed look now at Friend of the Devil. So thanks for coming over to Totally Guitars, and uh, here's some more of the info that I would like to like students to know about uh, Friend of the Devil. Again, it's kind of a country picking pattern where you're just keeping a, you're hitting a bass note with the pick and then strumming down up. If I was playing again like a G chord, under normal circumstances, I would just hit the sixth string first. And again, I like to play G with my second, third, and fourth fingers. Second finger on the fifth string, third finger on the sixth string, fourth finger on the first string. And I'm going to be hitting the sixth string in the bass, followed by a down up, and the fourth string in the bass. So again, very easy, typical country strum. Sounds something like that. So you have to be able to do that to play this song. On not too many, the chords are basically easy, one little stretch in it that's, that's tough. A D chord, you'd be hitting the fourth and fifth. On C, it would be the fifth and fourth. On A minor, it would also be the fifth and fourth. Something that's kind of cool to do on the A minors in this song, so any place in there you have the option of doing of hammering on the second bass note would sound like this. Three, four time. It sounds like working class hero. Anyway, um, so, but sometimes on the A minor you can keep it a little simpler just by going. And the first part of the song, um, hopefully you can download the the music. All I have out there is the words and the and the chords. Uh, we don't really need tablature for this. It's a little too too simple. I hope. <laughs> um, we got a descending G scale played as the bass line for the first eight measures of the, of the verse. So it's a G chord, but with the high G played in the bass. So I'm hitting the third string open as the bass note. It means I don't need any of the rest of the G chord down, except my third finger this time on the high G, on the third fret of the first string. So hit that G in the bass, and then strum. And really just try to strum the top three strings. I don't want to hear this. Okay. So 
We got G in the bass. This high G is going to stay on for all four chords. Reach to F sharp in the bass with your little finger. Here's the stretchiest part of the song. Your little finger has to reach to F sharp. Practice it. It's a long way, but you'll get it. Hold the bass note down when you strum. Don't do this. Okay, it's got to sound like... So the bass just descends from G to F sharp to E and to D. Then we're going to have a chord change. It goes to a C chord. Just play like, a, like you'd normally play C, I hope. Hitting C in the bass. The bass note changes to B. That means your second finger is going to move to the second fret of the fifth string and your third finger just stays off. It, this leaves the fourth string open. You're barely going to hear the fourth string anyway. Um, then the bass note goes to A, open, and you leave all you're left with is your first finger on the C. This again is not exactly the way, this may not be exactly the way they do it, but this is the way I teach it to beginning to intermediate students. And then back to a full G chord for the last bass note. So what we have very slowly is this. That's the first line of the verse, and the second line of the verse is the same. So they're singing over that. Now it goes to a D chord for four, four half measures. Each, each bass note in a strum would really be considered a half measure, and that's the way I have it written out in the, the, the lead sheet, so, um, or the chord chart. So it's now to D, and you're going to hit four different ba four bass notes. D, A, D, A. Now you go to A minor and hit A and E, the fifth and fourth strings. Next line is the same. Here's again where you can do that hammer on. And then back to a D chord for four bass notes. And then we have a descending bass line from the D to C to B to A, leading us back into the verse. Okay, so here's what that descending bass line sounds like on the D chord. I reach my second finger down to C in the bass at the third fret of the fifth string, my first finger down to B in the bass, and again, these notes come off the D chord and we don't even worry about them anymore. So by the time I've played the last A chord, or A, A in the bass, that strum sounds like that. When you do it fast, you won't even notice it. Because what you're hearing, the dissonance you're hearing right here is going to resolve immediately back to there. Here that is without the narration. that happens later, that's the, uh, the got two reasons why I stay away, or anyway, that, that part, um, is just like the chorus, it's, except it's eight measures of D, to C, we can throw some hammer-ons in the C if we want, back to D, a uh, little tricky thing coming up here, eight rounds of D, then it goes to A minor for four, to C for only two, back to D. So the phrasing is a little weird there in that there are only six measures or half measures in that line. I guess that would be the fourth line of the bridge that is A minor to C. Notice there are not two slashes at, in the seventh and eighth measure spots of, of the bridge there. So, um, so there you have it. The Most of what really happens in Friend of the Devil. Um, the main thing is being able to keep that strum going and sing it song that doesn't stand, doesn't stand as an instrumental alone, or, you know, doesn't stand alone as an instrumental very well, but a lot of fun to play and sit around the uh, campfire with your friends and sing. So, have fun with it.